In this video, I'm going to, I'm going to be showing y'all boys one of the best working NBA 2K23 VC glitches that you can use to run up your VC. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this glitch before it is too late, man. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on notifications, and with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. To start this VC glitch off, I want to be showing you guys the fastest way to take advantage of this VC glitch, plus I'm also going to show you guys how you can make the most VC possible as you do this glitch as well. You don't have to get takeover. You don't have to worry about scoring 40 points. None of that. You're going to be able to get through these games extremely fast. I'm basically calling this glitch a one minute VC glitch. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Now look, man, you can do this VC glitch on any player that you have. You can do it on a 60 overall. However, I would recommend that you guys do this glitch as a max contract player. In order to get a max contract, you do have to do a couple of things. You don't have to have a max contract. You can still make a lot of VC without the max contract, but it will allow you to make more VC. What you want to do is first, on your player, you want to go ahead and become a starter. And then you want to sim to the end of the season. You want to make sure that you do make the playoffs and then all you want to do is just win the, the nba finals and become an mvp that will allow you to get a max contract now listen bro you don't even have to play every single playoff game all the way through you can literally get up by 20 and then foul out you'll still get your vc but yeah man you want to send to the end of the season and then you want to become a you want to you want to win the finals and become the mvp and then it should ask you do you want to enter free agency you want to make sure that you hit enter free agency now look man once you guys send the end of the season and become the mvp of the nba finals and then you hit enter free agency you should get a contract that looks like this the max contract that you can get is a thousand vc per game so each time you guys do this glitch you will be making a thousand vc but like i said you can do this on any player you don't have to have a max contract but this will allow you to make more VC each time that you guys do this glitch. I'm gonna be calling this the one minute VC glitch. If you have a max contract, you can make a thousand VC basically every minute. You can still do this glitch even if you don't have a max contract and you'll still be able to make a lot of VC. I'm gonna be doing this glitch basically on a brand new 60 overall player because I don't really play current gen like that. Now look, once you guys have loaded up your player, go over to your options and then you want to go to your settings. Put the game difficulty on whatever you'd like. You can keep the quarter length on 12 minutes or you can do 5 minutes. It's not really going to matter. Now, after you guys have adjusted your settings, all you simply want to do is go ahead and go to play next game and then you want to go ahead and load this game up. Now once the game starts up and you get subbed in, all you want to do is foul out as fast as possible. You should be in and out of these games within one minute. So like I said, foul out as fast as you possibly can. It takes longer to get through the cutscenes than it does to actually foul out. And like I said, you want to get six fouls and you'll be able to get that within under one minute of actual play in time. So just to show you guys, we've only been in the game for a minute, right? We've got our six fouls and now we're going to be subbed out for the rest of the game and you're still going to get your VC. So look man, once this game is over with, you'll still get your VC for doing absolutely nothing. If you have a max contract, 
You're going to be making a thousand VC each time that you do this glitch. If you're doing this on a brand new player, you're still going to be making six. 52 and like I said we was in and out of this NBA game within one minute and you can spend this glitch as many times as you would like. Now look man, once the game is over with just go ahead and go over to play next game and then you want to go ahead and load this game up. Now look man, once you guys get sold into the game, all you wanna do is foul out as fast as possible. And if you you know foul out as much as you can, you should be in and out of these NBA games within one minute of actual playing time. All right, so once again, just to show you guys, I was able to foul out in, uh, in one minute. And like I said, it's kind of annoying because the cutscenes are longer than the actual play time. And it's also annoying whenever you get subbed in and then the other team is in the bonus. But if you're doing this on a max contract player who's a starter, then you won't even have to worry about that. So yeah, man, as soon as you guys foul out, you just want to go ahead and let the game run completely out. Once the game is over with, you guys will see that you will get your VC. You can run up your VC extremely fast, even with a minimum salary VC contract. You're in and out of these games within one minute, but that 1,000 VC max contract really does add up. Take advantage of this glitch while you can, guys. Drop a like, man, drop a sub, turn on post notifications. We out. Peace.